Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man. 2021 brought the end of an era with analog TV in the United States shutting down. While I have a few videos on my YouTube channel of trips documenting the last analog TV stations in the last year, I never released the raw footage. That's what this video is for. I went through my hard drive and gathered all the videos I have of analog TV stations throughout the years. So this video will be divided up into two parts. The first part has short clips of various analog TV stations that I picked up in high school and college. And the second part has more raw footage from my trips of the last analog TV stations on the air earlier this year. I placed chapters in this video to separate the two sections along with raw footage of each TV station, so feel free to skip through them at any point. Even though I played around with antennas and old TV sets since I was five, I didn't really have a decent video camera until I was 15. At that point, I began to take clips of some analog TV stations since I knew they would be gone in the future. Here's a video clip I took from the summer of 2008, right after I installed a very large Yagi-style antenna like this outside. Despite living behind a mountain nearly 80 miles from the broadcast towers, I was still able to pick up some channels. Check it out. I have to pack up the equipment that he's worked on for 20 years and watches it shipped off to China. And then he chokes up and he explains how he felt like a failure when he went home. Went home to tell his family the news. We are more compassionate than a government that lets veterans sleep on our streets and families slide into poverty. To say that TV reception was bad at my father's house would be an understatement. The only local news I could pick up was from a low-powered repeater of WYLU in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, about six miles away. It looked like this. It's all about you. This is WYLU News. A few months before the digital transition of 2009, I purchased a cell phone with a built-in analog TV tuner. While I didn't really take any videos of it, here are a few pictures. My hair in this picture really makes me cringe. Within a few months, it was already June 12th of 2009. This was a day that full-powered analog TV broadcasts had to shut down. I spent that night at my mother's house where I was able to get a good signal of our local ABC affiliate WNEP in Scranton. There was literally no antenna plugged into the TV set at all while it picked up this channel. Note the changing ghosting effect on the TV as big trucks drove by on the highway near my mom's house. Police officers from all across the country gathered here in Yatesville for one reason, to honor one of their own. Here are a few clips from that night. With Scott Shaker, Chief Meteorologist Tom Clark. Still have questions about the big switch. Go to our website, WNEP.com. I've got you under my skin. The first artist. I remember being very disappointed at that moment. It seemed like analog TV was gone for good in the United States. Thankfully, it turned out only full power TV stations had to shut down their analog broadcast by June of 2009. Low-power TV stations, which included a repeater of NBC and CBS five miles from my house, were allowed to continue broadcasting in an analog. Throughout the next few years, I would pick up whatever I could with the TV tuner built into my new touchscreen phone. It was able to record directly off the TV tuner, although the quality wasn't the best, as you'll see in the following clips. Philanthropy in the Poconos, including donations to Pocono Medical Center and East Stroudsburg University. People in Lackawanna County today that night that John Lennon had been shot and killed outside his apartment building in New York. Each of those 13 radio stations that participated sent people from their news departments to volunteer their services and, and actually help us with the broadcasting schedule because we had to go 24 hours a day. By the time I was in college, there was only one analog TV station I knew of that could be picked up. WHVL LP in State College, which I have a short video clip of here. Weeknights at 12 and 12.30 a.m. TMZ, we love Hollywood. We just have a funny way of showing it. Cougar Town, weekdays at 4.30 and 7.30 p.m. on WHVL. The station shut down their analog signal in summer of 2016. 
By that time, I didn't think there were any analog TV stations left. After all, the digital transition took place seven years prior, and it just didn't make sense why any TV station wouldn't be digital by 2016. A few years passed, I started a YouTube channel about antennas, and at some point in 2020, I learned there were actually some analog TV stations still on the air in the United States. I originally planned to make a trip in the summer of 2020, but patiently waited for COVID restrictions to ease so I could do more things on the trip, like go to a restaurant or the beach. After all, it was only supposed to be two weeks to flatten the curve. We all know how that went. By the new year, January 2021, I was done waiting. The restrictions weren't going away, so I decided to plan my trip anyway, not expecting to really find anything. This is a part of the video where I show more raw footage in longer lengths. As I said, you can skip around using the chapter section in the video player or timestamp in the pinned comment below. On Thursday, January 7th, 2021, I drove north to New York. I saw online that there might be two analog TV stations on the air in Binghamton. My network TV affiliate WBPN LP and Franken FM WXXW LP. Here's what I saw in real time on channel 6. I could barely make out the image, but there was something there. Here was the real shocker. I turned the dial up on the TV to channel 10 and saw WBPN, a real TV station, broadcast in an analog. After I confirmed there were two analog TV stations on the air in Binghamton, I checked into a local hotel. Here's all of the raw footage from that night. The next day, I traveled to the downtown section of Binghamton to see if I could pick up a better signal of both stations since they were pretty fuzzy in the hotel room. Here's the footage. After that, I traveled north towards Syracuse to find WVOALP, a Franken FM on Channel 6, which had a very unique video carrier from an Atari video music. East Boston, Mass, 0 to 1 to rail. Jesus Christ. 
is Lord. God bless you. Now you can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline tickets. Book a flight today. The last part of my trip was a stop in Watertown, New York to pick up CIII TV2, an analog repeater of Global TV in Bancroft, Canada. Here's my TV picking up the TV station from over 100 miles away. My second trip to document some of the last analog TV stations on the air in 2021 took place on Saturday, March 20th. I drove to Rochester and picked up WAWW, an HSN affiliate. Here are some of the clips from the hotel room. And the neat thing is, we, sh we don't wait. You're not waiting four months until it's paid off that we ship it out. We ship it right to you. Every single purchase that you make with us here at HSN, whether it's clearance, whether it's stay special, whatever it may be, from cosmetics to uh, jewelry, you always have a 30-day money-back guarantee. No questions asked. So we make it so easy. We really, truly do. I know we have a clock up on the screen, and I know we are very, very busy. So if you can take advantage of shoppinghsn.com or download the HSN app or touch tone ordering, I do don't want you to miss out, especially that gold. The countdown is on. Largest configuration we've ever done for our disc solar lights from Bell and Howe with all these upgrades uh, at the best value we've ever done. So no wonder well over 50000 gone. And powerful, Lou. That is what I love. Hey, yourself. Well, we have yeah. a room that's 1,000 square feet. It's going to clean it quite too fast, okay? If you've got a room that's 4,000 square feet, it's going to clean it, you know, Let's say it cleans up one time, you know, every few hours. It truly is your whole home solution, Shannon. It, it absolutely is, and it, it's going for sure. So this was a late-breaking adjustment for us. Remember, we've sold over 1.4 million hunters. Hunter, again, American pioneer and company selling. Well, they've been moving the air for over 100 years. This is not a, gosh, I wish it were HEPA. And you really do have to read the fine print when it comes to air purifiers. But not only that, this gives you more torque. This gives you more power. This is covering, I would say, in probably most or, or... The last trip I made was on July 13th, 2021, last day of analog TV in the United States. The two TV stations in Binghamton were off the air when I drove by. However, WVOALP, the Franken FM in Syracuse, was still on the air. Here are some of the clips from that day, and keep in mind I had to cut out most of the music due to stupid copyright issues. The most compensation for your injuries. Call the Sentinel Group now for more information and a free case review. Call 800-613-2314. 800-613-2314. That's 800-613-2314. <laughs> Thank you for listening to WVOA 87.7 FM. Due to the FCC no longer allowing any stations in the U.S. to broadcast on this frequency, we are moving all programming over to WSIV 106.3 FM and 1540 AM. Please reset your preset buttons to 106.3 FM and 1540 AM, The Voice. I wish to be ever pleasing in my father's sight. Do you understand English? Thank you, well, Pete. You, your church or organization, interested in running your own radio show? Whether you're interested in hosting your own Christian show, ethnic show, gospel show, Spanish show, or news, talk, or information show, WSIV Inspirational 1540 has time available for sale.
Thank you for listening to WVOA 87.7 FM. With great sadness, this concludes our broadcasting on 87.7. Due to the FCC no longer allowing any stations in the U.S. to broadcast on this frequency, we are moving all programming over to WSIV 106.3 FM and 1540 AM. Please reset your preset buttons to 106.3 FM and 1540 AM, The Voice. Well, bless God and glory help. And just like that, the feeling I had 12 years prior came back. This time, it truly was the end of an era. Analog TV had a charm that will never be matched. I understand that technology advances. Digital television broadcasts have the ability to carry up to a dozen different channels. Still, I don't think it was fair that the FCC made TV stations shut down their analog signals especially if they were on the air for the past decade without interference issues to other stations. Many 87.7 FM radio stations went dark as a result and did not come back, including WXXW in Binghamton. I won't end this video on a sour note. While the era of NTSC analog TV is pretty much over, it's still around in some very weird forms. A few Franken FM radio stations are allowed to continue broadcasts an analog audio signal on 87.7 FM as part of an STA from the FCC. CIII TV2 in Canada might still be on the air in analog for a few more months as well. I might make videos on both of these little bits of analog TV in the future. How many of you actually stayed with me until the end of this video? Most people probably tuned out within the first 5 or 10 minutes, so I appreciate those of you who are still with me. Would you like me to make a video on the few Franken FMs in the US or CII TV2 in Canada? Let me know. As always, thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. You can follow my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA or sign up to my email list attached in the description of the video. In the meantime, so long old friend.